Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with yet another AITA story for you. This one is titled, Am I the Ask Cannot for Telling My Sister She's Entitled to Do What She Wants for Her Wedding, But I Don't Need to Attend? A wedding story. You know what wedding stories sometimes have? Cake! My sister is a very classic golden child in her family. She was the first girl and my mom always wanted a daughter. My older brother was a disappointment to mom and when I, the second girl, came along, mom already had her perfect daughter so she never had much time for me. Time out. That sucks. Let's fly some flags. Our dad was one of those dads who worked all the time and left all the child raising to my mom and was not much of a family man. My brother and I are close. Our sister likes to use us, but she only ever wants us for what she wants and has never been a good sister to us. A few times she was upset to be left out of something, and if we ever felt bad, it soon faded because she would try to make the rules for everything. She did not change as an adult. We barely pass ourselves with her, but she tried to make us a huge part of her life. Being part of her life isn't really rewarding, though, so I keep my distance, and so does my brother. She got engaged a few months back. She asked me to be her bridesmaid and in the same breath told me I would need to change my hair. I have my hair dyed. Would need to get used to wearing heels. Never liked them, never wore them, cannot walk in them. And she told me I would need to join her for 5 a.m. yoga wedding planning every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, and I would need to take two weeks off work around the wedding to prepare and get everything set up. I turned down the bridesmaid's invite. When she tried to get her wedding date finalized, she asked my brother and I when we would be free and she told us to take into account that we would need to rent fancy cars or a joint car to drive to the place. She had a list of cars she found acceptable. That's new. Never heard of that kind of crap before. Because she wants all her guests to arrive in style. She also told us that we would need at least 4K saved to afford everything she was planning. Wait, what? She... What? Does not compute. We're going to run out of red flag confetti here. She also wanted to do a family gathering the night before the wedding at the venue, and that would require paying money to take part. And this place is expensive, even on a shitty day. My brother told her any date would work and not to worry because he was being sarcastic. I told her not to plan her wedding around me because I could never afford that stuff, so it would be best if I didn't go. My sister didn't take me seriously, but then when I RSVP'd no to her wedding, she called and asked why I am judging her wedding and why I won't go. I told her she can do what she wants, but I I don't need to attend and I'm not going to run myself into the ground to follow the rules of her wedding. She told me I am her sister. I should attend her wedding. Am I the asshole? Ah, this. Okay. There was a similar story not too long ago about a bridezilla demanding that a bridesmaid who was a friend cut her hair. It had to be six inches shorter than, than the brides and her hair was like down to the middle of her back. But OP's hair was like to her knees. That's a lot of sacrifice to expect someone to make. Probably even more so than the 4K and the pain in the ass that this OP is going to go through. But I still say, definitely not the asshole here. Let's take a look, though. Let's reference the scale and let's think about it for a minute. As a reminder, the ASCON scale is based on the U.S. military's DEFCON scale, which means one is the worst. Four is the least amount of asshole. Ask on four is you could have done this differently. Ask on three is you should have done this differently. Ask on two is you definitely shouldn't have done that. And ask on one is you're a terrible human. 4K is an expensive slice of cake, right? I mean, what else are they going to get out of this? A lot of pain in the ass. They're going to have to bite their tongue a lot during this wedding. Might bite their tongues off. They're going to bite their tongue so much during the wedding. Um, they're going to be bossed around all day. They're going to be treated like shit. And it's going to cost them 4K. We are... Applying the ask on scale to Bridezilla right now. Keep in mind, this is a sister, so this is family. So there's there's less of a filter that's going to exist there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't help her get off of ask on one in any way here. So we'll go ahead and fly her all the way there. Whee! Yay! Four thousand dollar ticket to ask on one. Welcome to Uranus. Uranus has two sets of rings. The innermost ring is brown. I'm not kidding. Definitely ask on one for Bridezilla here. I wonder if she treats everyone like this. I'm guessing so because it sounds like her character is just this shitty. Um, so her friends probably get bossed around too, but probably more so her siblings because she's been doing it for life. So there's no buildup like there is with friends where it's the honeymoon phase of being a friend. And then at some point she just ends up treating them like shit. She's been doing this for years and years and years. So it's just automatic. Just, hey, um, yeah, good to see you. I'm going to treat you like shit. So long as we understand each other. Okay, see you at my wedding. Bring your 4K. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Bitch.